When I was in mainstream Christianity, there was absolutely no way to tell if someone was actually a Christian or not. Because the only criteria in mainstream Christianity basically is professing Jesus' name as your Lord. So if a Hollywood A-lister came out as a Christian, all these other Christians are like, Woo, glad finally we have a Christian in Hollywood. But then you have that exact same person participating in some very anti-biblical behavior, making anti-biblical movies, anti-biblical music, and what do you do with that? You're just like, oh yeah, well, he's a Christian, you know, it's just Hollywood, he's still saved. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. We have Justin Bieber who's come out as a Christian. He sings some worship songs now and then does stuff like this in public. Some people would probably justify this and be like, well, he just loves his girlfriend, right? Okay, sure, that's fine. He loves his girlfriend, so he does this kind of stuff in public. Well, what about all the songs that he still puts out after becoming a Christian? All these songs that hit the top charts about getting wasted and sleeping around and hating people. Does that seem like Christian behavior to you? Man, then we got Chris Pratt, right? He's a good old boy Christian now, promoting Christ all over the stages of Hollywood. Well... That's fantastic, but he's throwing a Satan sign right here, and there are a lot of Christians that would say, whatever, you know, this is no big deal. Fine. He still makes a ton of movies with anti-biblical principles in them. Then we got people like Joe Biden, all these famous politicians, right? He's a Catholic. He believes in Jesus. Maybe he shouldn't be rubbing elbows with a known leader of the KKK. Oh, I'm sure this KKK guy's just retired. He's probably a Christian too now, right? I mean, you should know. There should be a red flag in your mind with people like this, and there's just not with most mainstream Christians, and I don't get it. Then you got megachurch pastors like Joel Osteen rubbing elbows with Little Nas. This guy did a music video where he was making out and giving a lap dance to Satan. And you think this is okay for a Christian pastor to do? And it's all over, even with Christian bands, like A-list Christian bands. There was one man that came out as being gay as a Christian band leader, and the whole world was like, woo, we still love you, whatever, we accept you. He left his family and his kids to become gay. And there's bands like Hillsong, where the women in that band are promoting young Christian women to dress provocatively. And you still sit around and think that these people are Christian. This is chapter 96 in the book of 1st Enoch. Woe unto you, you sinners, for your riches make you appear like the righteous, but your heart convicts you of being sinners. And this fact shall be a testimony against you for a memorial of all your evil deeds. Sounds right on the money to me. Just because someone's rich and donates a lot of their money to good charities or helping the community in the name of Jesus, it most certainly does not make them a good person. It most certainly does not make them a true Christian. And that's unfortunately what we have in mainstream doctrine. Christians cannot tell other Christians from non-Christians or people masquerading as Christian because your doctrine has dumbed it down so much that anybody says, Jesus is my Lord. You guys are like, oh, great. He's a Christian. And this is because you went to a church that taught you unbiblical things. They didn't teach you what the Bible actually says in situations like this. I could make a video hours long going through all the verses in the Bible that tell you how to spot a real Christian from a fake one. But you're not taught that. And unfortunately, even when you are, a lot of people just completely disregard it, don't want to believe it's true, want to stay in the world, want to keep idolizing their celebrities and their politicians and their music singers. And it's just really, really sad. But like I said a second ago, I don't have nearly enough time to go through all these verses. Instead, I'm going to encourage you to read your Bible, acknowledge what it says, and start purging out these idols that you have that are clearly Clearly not real Christians. For anybody watching this video that doesn't know, I'm a Torah observer. I believe that Christ taught us the laws of God and that it's our responsibility to be set apart from the world, to walk the way that Christ did. And when you step into this truth, you start to understand all the things that we were taught that are just not true and unbiblical. 
and you start to dig deeper and deeper and deeper and you start to find the true names, the names that weren't transliterated and made up centuries after our real Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach lived. And don't get me wrong, I am I am not picky about the name. I still say Jesus, I preach Jesus to people, but I know it's not his real name. And I am outspoken about that. I was saved under the name Jesus and that led me to the truth. And that led me to uncovering that his real name is Yeshua, a Hebrew name for a Hebrew Messiah. The letter J didn't even exist until about 400 years ago. The name Jesus is a transliteration of a transliteration, but it came from our Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. 1 Corinthians 12, you know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to mute idols. However, you were led. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the spirit of God ever says Jesus is accursed. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. I have seen many, many people that I do not believe actually has the Holy Spirit say Jesus is Lord. Unless all these people participating in known, actual satanic rituals have the Holy Spirit. Let's read this in a more Hebrew version of the Bible. You know that when you were pagans, you were enticed by idols that cannot speak, and you got led astray. Therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Ruach, Elohim, says Yeshua is cursed. And no one can say Yeshua is Lord except by the Ruach HaKadosh. I'm just saying, I've heard a lot of people that say Jesus is Lord that don't have any type of biblical lifestyle whatsoever and don't do things and don't bear fruit that you would expect from someone who has the Holy Spirit. I have never seen one of them, not one of them say Yeshua is Lord. Again, I'm not going to pick on you for the name. If you want to say Jesus, by all means, go ahead. I personally, in my personal life, say Yeshua as often as humanly possible. And then on a lot of videos, because my target audience is Christian, I say Jesus. So if you say Jesus, I'm not going to knock you. We're all at different points on our walk. But again, I've never seen any of these bad people say Yeshua is my master. Yeshua is the son of the Most High Elohim. And I think maybe... That's what Paul actually meant, because we know Paul was a Jew, okay? He may have spoken Greek, he may have spoken Latin, but he was a Jew by birth. He was a Pharisee. He most certainly spoke Hebrew as a main language, or Aramaic back then, which is a derivative of original Hebrew. So he was telling all these people, Yeshua, they can't say Yeshua is Lord without the Holy Spirit. And personally speaking, I've never seen any of these people say Yeshua is my Lord. Maybe, just maybe, that's the true test for that verse. And maybe, just maybe, that'll help you weed out some of these non-Christians from real Christians, biblical Christians.